Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition or subtraction of fractions. What are routine problems? Routine problems, these are problems in which we can easily identify the solution to the problem with just looking at the word clue. Ang ating unang suliranin ay isang halimbawa ng routine problem. Alexa made five and two-third glasses of mango juice on Sunday and four and one-third glasses of mango juice on Monday. How much mango juice did she make on those two days combined? So answer our problem, we should follow some steps in solving word problem. First is we should understand what is asked in the problem. It is asking for the amount of mango juice she made on those two days combined. What are the given facts? Five and two third glasses of mango juice and four and one half glasses of mango juice. The next step is we're going to plan. So, dito sa plan, dito natin malalaman or dito natin isaisip kung ano yung operation na gagamitin natin. So, in our problem, we're going to use addition. Bakit addition? Because the word clue is combined. Ibig sabihin, ating pagsama-samahin. Alam na natin ang tanong sa ating problem, the given facts at operation na gagamitin natin. Ngayon, isolve na natin ang problem. So, 5 and 2 third plus 4 and 1 half. Sa so, napag-aralan natin kung paano tayo mag-add or mag-subtract ng mixed fractions, ay hiwalay natin ang ating whole numbers sa fractions. So, una muna natin i-add ang ating mga whole numbers. So, 5 plus 4, ang answer natin ay 9. So, yung whole number 9 natin ay mag sa ating fractions. So, i-add na natin ang ating fractions na 2 third at saka 1 half. So, pansinin nyo ang ating denominators. Ano na papansin nyo? Alright, our denominators are not the same. So, ang tawag natin dito ay dissimilar fractions. So, ang gagawin natin is, gagamitan natin ito na cross product method. Okay, napakadali lang nun. Multiply lang natin ang 2 times 2. The answer is equal to 4. Then, 3 times 1, the answer is equal to 3. Over 3 times 2, the answer is equal to 6. Okay, pagkatapos, i-add na natin ang ating numerators na 4 and 3. So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Kopyahin lang natin ang denominator na 6. Okay, ngayon, ang ating answer is 7 over 6. Ang ating numerator ay mas malaki kaysa denominator. So, ang tawag natin dito ay improper fraction. So, kailangan natin itong i-change into a mixed number para maging lowest term. So, paano natin gagawin yon? 7 divided by 6, the answer is equal to 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. So, itong 1 na remainder, gagawin natin numerator. Tapos, Ang 6 na divisor natin ay ang ating denominator. So, yung ating sagot na 1 and 1, 6, which is the lowest term of 7 over 6, ay idadagdag natin siya sa whole number 9. So, pag nag-add naman tayo ng whole number, then a mixed number, so, i-add lang natin ang ating whole numbers. So, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Kopihin natin yung ating fraction na 1 over 6. So, 10 and 1, 6 is our final answer. So, may sagot na tayo na 10 and 1, 6. Ngayon, check natin ito using backward method. So, gagamitan natin ito ng isa sa addends natin ay subtract natin sa 10 and 1, 6. So, gagamitin natin itong 4 and 1, half. Kung ang answer natin ay 5 and 2, third, ibig sabihin yung 10 and 1, 6 na sagot natin ay correct. Okay, pag nagsasubtract tayo ng mixed fractions, make sure na ang ating uh, fraction, unang fraction dito sa ating minuend, ay mas malaki kaysa ating subtrahend. 
or otherwise, meron tayong borrowing or regrouping kung hindi pwede, kung maliit yung unang fractions natin. So, i-compare muna natin yung 1 6 at saka 1 half. Paano tayo mag-compare? Just multiply 1 times 2. Ang answer dyan ay 2. Then, 6 times 1, the answer is equal to 6. So, ibig sabihin nito, 2 is less than 6. Ang 1 6 ay mas maliit ang value kaysa 1 half. So, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-subtract kaagad-agad. Ang gagawin natin is, we're going to borrow 1 from 10. 10 becomes 9. At saka yung 1 na hiniram natin ay dadagdag natin yon sa 1 over 6. So, 1 plus 1 over 6 is 1 and 1 6. Tapos, gagawin lang natin improper fraction. Okay, paano natin gagawin improper fraction? Tandaan nyo, ang ating numerator ay plus natin sa ating denominator. 1 plus 6, ang answer natin dyan ay 1 plus 6, the answer is equal to, alright, it is 7. Tapos, kopihin lang natin ang denominator na 6. Okay, ngayon, ang ating 1 and 1, 6 ay nagiging 7 over 6. Pwede na tayo mag-subtract ng ating fraction. So, 9 minus 4, full numbers muna. The answer is equal to 5. Tapos, isa-subtract na natin ang ating fractions. 7, 6 minus 1 half. So, ang ating denominators ay hindi magkapareho. Ang tawag natin dito ay dissimilar fractions. We're going to use the cross product method to find the difference. So, 7 times 2 is equal to 14. 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Over 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Over 12. Okay, ang ating sagot ay 8 over 12. Evaluate natin kung meron bang common factor ang 8 and 12. Meron ba isang number na pwede natin divide sa 8 and 12? Meron ba? Alright. Both numerator and denominator are divisible by 4. So, divide natin siya sa 4. 8 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 2. 12 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 3. Tapos itong fraction na ito, idadagdag na natin sa ating whole number na 5. So, ang answer natin ngayon ay 5 and 2 third. 5 and 2 third is one of our addends. So, ibig sabihin, yung 10 and 1 six na answer natin ay correct. Next is, we're going to study about the non-routine problems. When we say non-routine problems, these are problems in which we need critical thinking and analyze the problem thoroughly. Ang next problem natin ay isang halimbawa ng non-routine problem. The sum of two fractions is 5 and 3 fourth. If one fraction is more than 1 and 1 half to the other fraction, what are the two fractions? So, dito is kailangan nating i-analyze ng mabuti ang ating problem. So, there are two fractions. And if we're going to add the two fractions, the answer is equal to 5 and 3 fourth. So, given yung sagot, hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga fractions na i-add natin. Uh, the difference between the two fractions is 1 and 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, yung isang fraction ay mas lamang siya ng 1 and 1 half to the other fraction. So, the question is, what are the two fractions? To answer our problem, we can use the trial and error method. Anong gagawin natin? List down all the possible fractions having a sum of 5 and 3 fourth. So, ito ay, we need time to do it because a lot of fractions... If we're going to add, the sum is equal to 5 and 3 fourth. And next is, you're going to subtract. If their difference is equal to 1 and 1 half, then those fractions might be the answer to our problem. Pag na-encounter nyo ang ganitong problem, itong next strategy na i-share ko sa inyo, ito yung pinakamabilis na way kung paano natin makuha yung sagot. So sa ating problem, the sum is equal to 5 and 3 fourth. Tapos, the difference between the two numbers is equal to 1 and 1 half. 
So, minus natin yung difference niya. So, 5 and 3 fourth minus 1 and 1 half. Subtract muna natin ang ating whole numbers. 5 minus 1. The answer is equal to 4. Tapos, subtract din natin ang ating fractions. 3 fourth minus 1 half. As we know that, 3 fourth is bigger than 1 half. So, hindi rin magkapariho ang ating denominators. We can use the cross product method. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Minus 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Over 8 times 2 is equal to 8. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Kopyahin lang natin ang denominator na 8. So, on 2 over 8, may common factor pa ba? Between the 2? Yes. Both are divisible by 2. So, reduce natin sa lowest term. 2 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1. 8 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 4. So, itabi na natin yung 1 fourth sa ating whole number na 4. So, it becomes 4 and 1 fourth. So, itong 4 and 1 fourth ngayon, ito yung hahatiin natin sa dalawa. Kasi meron tayong dalawang numbers na i-add, ang answer ay 5 and 3 fourth. 4 and 1 fourth divided by 2. Since wala pa tayo sa ating division of fractions, Ngayon, we're going to divide this one manually. So, divide lang natin yung ating whole number, 4 divided by 2. What is the answer? Alright, the answer is equal to 2. Next is, 1 fourth divided by 2. Okay, try to imagine. Uh, paghatiin natin yung isang one whole. For example, one whole sheet of paper. If we're going to divide it by 2, hatiin natin. Yan ay equivalent to 1 half. Ang 1 half naman, pag hinati natin, yan ay magiging 1 fourth. At ang 1 fourth, pag hinati natin, ay magiging 1 eighth. So, 1 fourth divided by 2, the answer is equal to 1 eighth. Ang ating whole number is 2, tabi lang natin yung ating 1 eighth. Ibig sabihin, itong 2 and 1 eighth, this is our first fraction. Okay, may sagot na tayong nauna. Our first fraction is 2 and 1 eighth. Nakuha na natin ang ating first fraction, which is 2 and 1 a. Ngayon, ang ating problem is the second fraction. So, going back to the problem, uh, one fraction is more than 1 and 1 half to the other fraction. So, yung 2 and 1 eight natin, the first fraction natin, we're going to add 1 and 1 half. Para mas lamang siya ng 1 and 1 half to the first fraction. So, same process, how to add Mixed fractions. Separate natin yung ating whole numbers. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then, 1 eighth plus 1 half. Since ang ating fractions ay dissimilar fractions, gagamit tayo na cross product method. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Over 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Then add the numerators, 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 over 16. So, may common factors pa ba um, 10 and 16? Okay, yes. Both numerator and denominator are divisible by 2. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. So, itong 5, 8, itatabi natin siya sa whole number 3. Our answer now is... 3 and 5, 8. This is our second fraction. To check whether our answer is correct or not, we're going to add the first fraction, 2 and 1, 8, and the second fraction, which is 3 and 5, 8. So, we're going to add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 1, 8 plus 5, 8 is equal to 6, 8. Then, reduce to the lowest term, 6, 8, divided by 2, over 2. The answer is equal to 5 and 3 fourth. Therefore, the two fractions are 2 on 1, 8, and 3 and 5, 8. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.